All right, um, what I'm going to do today is a video to talk about a little project I've got going on. So I bought this table saw a couple days ago downtown. Um, it runs on 220, and uh, the problem I'm having is that my only 220 circuit is right here next to the box. And I'm going to walk over here a little bit and just show you guys that there's not a lot of room for stuff. I had this cart on this side of the room before, but you can see uh, in order to feed material through, I got this cabinet behind it. And so you really have to push the bandsaw out into the room and there's a big gap right in this area and it's not very efficient. Um, also there you wind up with this cable kind of reaching out. And so what I want to do is take, I got the spot right here where I could roll that bandsaw and it'll sit over here on the left of that post that I just put in and um, that way I can feed the material this way I also have my table saw set up so I feed the material that way and I got it probably a good 8 to 10 I think probably closer to 10 feet from the edge of that table saw over there so I can push a whole sheet of plywood through um, also I'm going to index that table saw down a little bit so what I did was um, I kind of just put the bandsaw in where I wanted it right here in this area and then I figured out where I, I needed the power to be the power uh, cables on the backhand side of the bandsaw there anyway what I did was um, I marked it on the floor where I wanted it I put like a piece of wood right there and then I went up on a ladder and found a rough spot somewhere on the ceiling and used a plumb bob to move, uh, move my hand around until the plumb bob was concentric with the point that I had marked on the floor. And I marked up there where I wanted it. Put that cross bracing on. There's uh, three studs that I'm picking up or joists or whatever you want to call them. And um, basically the purpose of this is just to keep the post from going back and forth. Um, it's not really structural setup. It's more, the only purpose of the post is to hold my electrical routing. Uh, so what I did, like I said, I I have a Simpson strong tie bracket up here that ties into that 2x4. And down there on the floor, what I did was drill a hole in the floor. And uh, basically does this, I wish I had one to show you, but so I drilled a hole. It was about two and a half inches deep. And then I took something similar to this, except it's a nut. And uh, like this part right here where I have my fingers on. And so it has a, it's threaded, it has a threaded uh, internal diameter. What you do is you drop it down that hole, smack it a couple times with this hammer and it expands this tail on here and keeps it from rotating. And so you drop that down on the floor and then lay the Simpson, the, the bracket on top of it. And then you stick a uh, bolt down in there, turn it, and um, it locks that little four by four bracket into the floor. And so I checked this using my method. I didn't really use a bubble level or anything to level it, but it turns out that using a plumb bob is a sound method because it, it was um, 90 degrees to the ground. Anyway, uh, so I put this bracket on here. Uh, that's roughly the height of my table saw. And I'm gonna put a, I'm gonna pigtail a little uh, cable that is going to run underneath this table and then you drop down the floor and go up and then back up this pole here and I'll plug in the table saw here and then also I'm going to uh, plug in the band saw. I'm going to have two discrete circuits uh, one here and one here. Um, they'll both be 220 volts. I got these guys right here so you can see these are 20 amp plug-ins and this is what the, the cord looks like on them. Uh, this saw is currently set up for 120 um, volts, and it's really supposed to be running off 230 or 220. Um, so I'm going to continue this. Basically what I did was uh, you put this conduit on here. You use the pipe bender to bend that out a little bit. There's a lot of videos on the internet on how to do that. And use some brackets to... Stabilize it on that post. Um, I kind of did a decent job of making this 
Uh, you can see there's this plane here um, where the stud is in the middle. I'm gonna put my hand up. All right, so, and so this um, conduit is concentric with the face of the post, so it needs to wow in a little bit and then pick up that uh, joist so that I can screw my brackets into it. You can see those right there. Anyway, uh, so that's gonna continue on around. And like I said, it's gonna pop out right here. Now I'll have another uh, radius that kind of goes on and drops down like that. And then I'll have to, I'm gonna put a 90 degree connector right here and go around and then back down to the, to the box right there. Uh, also on that same box, I'm gonna go out this way with some conduit and put a drop right down to that compressor. Um, this compressor is trash. My movers, when I moved, they dropped it off the truck. Or the guy rolled it down the ramp, and at the bottom, he set it down, but it was coming off the ramp. So uh, it's kind of top heavy. Anyway, it went over and it broke. You're gonna have a trouble seeing this, but you can see, like, this is the foot that holds this entire. Uh, housing on for the motor uh, you can see it's broken off and so it's vibrating like really bad and uh, it's developed a leak on that line right there and so my movers are gonna buy me a new one and I'm probably gonna score an upgrade out of it so that's the plan um, so we got and then also I got this uh, joiner here I think I'm going to push it back where this cabinet is and move this cabinet somewhere else I should say shelf really but um, this rolls around pretty easy, even though it's heavy as hell. Um, but yeah, I'm going to put it in and hopefully pick up this circuit right here. It's another 220, 20 amp circuit. If not, I'll tee out and then drop, put another drop down. Anyway, that's all I got. I'm going to give some more updates as we go along. I just want to kind of, I really should have started the video process at the beginning, but I did not. Um, but that's all I got. Like I said, I'll have a follow-up video as things progress. Thanks, bye.